Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy. I'm the owner of Walnut Creek Bath Boutique and I have been trying very hard to bring you wax melt videos that aren't ridiculously long. <laughs> but uh, previously, earlier this week, I did post a video of my testing and my process for testing and how that has evolved, right? I, I started the video in testing in one way and completely did a 180, not really, but kind of did a 180 and how I tested and my thought process in, in my testing and my fragrance load and everything that I do. So that video is kind of weird. And in the first half, I do it one way. And then the second half, I'm telling you how I've changed everything. <laughs> and that's just my channel for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> That is just, it's just me, right? I'm just sharing my journey and it's still in progress and in, it's still changing and I'm still adapting. I'm still learning. I hope to always learn and I hope to always adapt to make myself and my business better. But um, yeah, that video was was going to be like 35 minutes if I didn't split it off. So this video <laughs> that I'm bringing you today, I've already taped the video. It's just me going over my final thoughts on the six plus seven, like 14, 13 or 14, uh, fragrance, uh, fragrances that I tested in my wax melts. Some of those fragrances were tested at 12 and a half percent and some of them were at nine, nine 9%. So I'm just bringing those thoughts to you and my final determination on whether I'm going to order those fragrances and put those in my line or not. And that's what today's video is. Just my final thoughts on that. So it's just maybe it's just me talking, just a talking head video, <laughs> but I hope you stick around to watch. If you have any thoughts or, um, suggestions on different fragrances that you think I should try. I'd love to get your feedback on that because I'm always in the in the hunt for new fragrances. So stay tuned for my final thoughts on all of those fragrances. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back. It's been a couple of weeks since I was last on here and I have all of my testing done and I have notes here. I'm going to try not to take up a lot of your time, but I did say I would come on and let you know my final thoughts on the wax melts that I did. So the first half or the, the ones that are uncolored, these are at 12 and a half percent fragrance load. Um, so the first one I tested was sandalwood and rose or sandalwood rose. And that is from the flaming candle. I have my, um, computer here with my spreadsheet listed. I really liked Sandalwood Rose. I didn't expect to like it that well. And it's just, it was a really pleasant scent in the background. It wasn't in my face. It wasn't, you know, it, it was just really pleasant. I'm, I was very surprised at how much I like Sandalwood Rose. Um, really nice. I think I will order another uh, one or four ounce bottle of that and test it at a lower percentage to see if I still like it. But um, I thought it was quite lovely. I quite love, quite, quite lovely. Um, so I'm going to, again, I'm going to try to de decrease that down to 10% and see if that does me as well as the 12 and percent did. So sandalwood and rose was really nice. Uh, gin and tonic. No, not, I, I didn't smell anything. And to, the truth is that website on Be Scented really says nothing about whether it's good for uh, candles or not or, or wax melts. It, it doesn't really state one way or the other. So I'm really glad I tested that. I pitched that right away. I pitched all my samples. They were trash. They, I didn't smell anything. So gin and tonic, I really like the scent, but there was nothing, nothing for candles or wax melts in that one. Um... The next one I tested is uh, Mahogany Antique Wood, which I think is a Bath and Body Work dupe. And that is from Aztec. I really liked the scent, but it was really very, very faint. Um, I really, it, it was one of those things where I really, really liked it, but it was a little too soft. I had a little bit of trouble smelling it. I may try another supplier with that. Um, but I think I've even had the candle and the Bath and Body Work candle for me was very faint as well. It wasn't a really strong scent, which I'm, I'm fine with. I don't like anything to give me a headache and I don't want anything too strong, but it was a very soft scent in the candle when I, when I burned that a while back. <clears throat> so 
so it may just be the nature of that fragrance but I may try a different different supplier on that one to see if I have a better better outcome coconut lime verbena and that is the candle science and I liked this one an awful awful lot it was a very clean I'm looking at my notes here fresh with a background of coconut um, so it wasn't overwhelming coconut e it was just a it's a really nice background very clean I really really like this I'm going to definitely test this again at 10 percent the the I would say I gave it a star I gave it a rating out of one out of four one out of five I gave it a four um, definitely is a keeper for me um, but I am going to test it at 10 percent Beechwood um, was one one of those that I was hoarding so bad you know that was one of the two that I was hoarding like crazy Beechwood is amazing guys that's from flaming candle I was so pleased with this now that was at the 12 and a half percent so I think I'm still going to be fine going down to 10 percent or lower it was a really nice scent it was um I gave it a I gave it a five I out of one out of five I gave it a five I really really liked it and I didn't mention that I um, bought a new burner at Walmart uh, during this time and so I have one in my bedroom now full-time so my wax testing is my kitchen living room combo the really long room where I have three in one I have my central bathroom where I just put one in there and then I have my bedroom and I put one in there and I'm thinking I, you know should a bedroom have one or two I don't know the rules <laughs> you know is there a standard you know anyway enough of that but yeah that's what I'm doing um, but I was I was really 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 loving Beechwood loving Beechwood now Rain and Angelica is a different story and although I love that scent and I loved it in soap um, it really didn't have much scent for me now again these are these this is my wax my heating temperature my pouring temperature my environment um, just my personal experience with these in and how I do Rain and Angelica not as a no-go for me I, I absolutely love the scent but it's not gonna be in my wax line um, wasn't wasn't there for me come on Google let me use my arrow keys okay so now we're back we're at the new new testers and so the new testers I did nine percent and um, the first one I tested was candle sciences uh, cranberry apple marmalade I didn't really smell much at nine percent not I liked it it had a pretty good cold throw um, but it just wasn't strong enough and and for somebody that doesn't like something too strong it really wasn't strong enough for me so that's gonna be a no-go for me the second one I tested at that 9% was um, caramelized pralines from candle science I really liked it I really do I have it here yeah I do I really liked this I had a, it's got a good cold throw I, I really really like this and I gave it a five so at 9% this is plenty plenty at nine percent so again it's like why would I why would I want to go above that I'm trying to be smarter better financial decisions caramelized praline is a winner I'm ordering that it's in my cart right now I'm ordering that very soon uh, another one that I tested is pomegranate cider um that was a no-go too it uh, I had one from from uh, nature's garden the same like pomegranate cider and the first time I burnt the the first order I had of it I really liked it and then I ordered a bigger bottle this has been a couple years ago and I didn't like it at all I didn't have heart it didn't have much of a cold throw and it didn't have a hot throw so I tried candle science this most most recently when they had their one ounce sales and I still don't care for it it it, it was okay in the strength I gave it a two it maybe could have gone to a three but it just didn't wow me it was just okay mm. meh as the kids say meh do they see do they even say that anymore <laughs> so clearly I like candle science right so this next one is candle science and this is strudel and spice and 
it is also in my cart. <laughs> I really like Strudel and Spice, and it doesn't have a it doesn't have a great cold throw. Um, it almost smells perfumey in cold, and so that may throw people off. But when you burn it, it does have that strudel and more of a spicy note to it. But it almost smells perfumey in the clamshell. So, you know, although I loved burning it, a lot of people will be turned off by the cold throw. So I'm going to have to think about this. Now that I'm talking to you, it's making me think maybe, maybe I'll just buy a small little bottle and test my customers and see what, if, they, if they like it. And I won't buy like... Um, like the strudel and spice, I'll probably buy an eight ounce bottle of that. And caramelized pralines, I, I may even buy a 16, but I, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but so those I know are going to be good. But this does, it does have a, a quite a perfumey scent to it. So I'm going to think on that one. But I loved it and I love burning it and I did give it a five. So strudel and spice, I really, really liked. And then almost done, guys. Lime, basil, and mandarin. It was a no. I didn't care for it. I didn't even put many notes on there. That was like a uh, flaming candle. I did. I, nah, I didn't like it. And then black raspberry vanilla. I am really wanting a good black raspberry and vanilla uh, wax melt. And um, this one was from Nature's Garden. It's a no. I really like the scent. Um, this is the one that's not very high in the body. I mean, the soap is like two and a half or three percent of soap, if that. Um, so it's not good for soap, and I didn't care for it in the wax melt. So I won't be buying that. So I do have my cart for Candle Science going, and I do have a new black raspberry vanilla in my cart. So I'm going to test that. I think I did do a four ounce bottle. I want to test it in a small uh, batch of soap as well, so just to kind of make sure that that's going to work in soap too. But I like to have that, you know, when I can find a, a fragrance oil that works in multiple applications, it's very much better on the pocketbook, right? You know, when you can, when you can use them in uh, wax melts and creams or soaps and all that good stuff. So that's kind of always a, a little bit of a goal, unless. They're like strudel and spice or caramelized pralines. This probably won't go on a soap, you know. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I know I didn't, I want, I'm trying really hard to get my videos a little bit shorter. So I kind of sped talk to do that. If anybody has a really good black raspberry vanilla fragrance oil that they use, um, drop that down and let me know because I am on the hunt for one that will work in both applications. Um, I think I've... I've had a small bottle of Nurture Soaps Black Raspberry Vanilla, but that site, again, doesn't say anything about waxes or candle making or anything like that. It's more of a, a soap fragrance. And so I'm just not sure that um, I want to get tied to a fragrance oil that's only good for bath and body if I can find one out there that's going to be good for both. I'd rather do that. I may try Aztec. Has anybody used Aztec? Anyway, any suggestions? I'm all I'm all ears. <laughs> I'm all ears. Guys, thanks for sticking with me on this journey of ups and downs and changes and just like twists and turns and I say one thing and then I change my mind and now I'm saying another thing. I If you're sticking with me, thank you. God love you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and that's it for today. I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.